All right, Monty, you don't want me to go to sleep, do ya? I just got back from the gym, was about a shower, but we're recording instead because there is some breaking news coming out of Arizona that actually has me very confused. I don't understand this move whatsoever. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Arizona Cardinals have traded linebacker Cameron Thomas to the Kansas City Chiefs for a seventh round pick, which gives them some help room according to Ian Rappaport. And this deal was facilitated by his agent. And I am kind of concerned and confused because I don't know where the long-term vision is here with Cameron Thomas gone a guy who was standing out in preseason totaled three sacks for us where's the answer for us Kansas City just got more depth I think it is a very solid pickup for them but the Arizona Cardinals we have one massive hole because BJ Ojolari went down who do we have? We have Zayvon Collins, and then we have Dennis Gardick starting, and Cameron Thomas was somebody that I put on my final roster. I made a prediction video a couple hours ago, and he was on it. He was one of the people that I thought was going to be a backup outside linebacker with Victor DiMichigi, Xavier Thomas, and Jesse Lakeda. That is clearly not the answer, so it has me wondering if he was a cut candidate to begin with because we got so little out of him with a seventh round pick, so he might have been on the border. He might have been a bubble player, which is kind of crazy because he was one of the best preseason performers we had. Now, I'm not saying Cam Thomas is anything special, and I don't think he was ever going to blossom into anything insane, but he did show out in preseason, totaled three sacks. Like, you can't overlook that. That was a guy who generated a ton of pressure, and this is another Steve Kime guy out of the building. I don't know how many of them remain. Kyler Murray is probably one of the only active guys. Like I said, clearly he wasn't in the long-term vision for this team, otherwise he would have been retained. So I trust Monty Austin for it still. I just don't know where the future lies. I don't know where the vision is here. I always thought he was going to play the waiver, and this does open a roster spot so if cam thomas wasn't in that long-term picture then it does make sense to go ahead and get an asset back a seventh rounder is not a ton it doesn't really mean anything at the end of the day go get something instead of just cutting him flat out i do think this means they saw a decent amount from xavier thomas to elevate him and at least get some production out of him and hope that that translates there is almost no way that the cardinals don't go out and trade for somebody or at least play the waiver and go ahead and pick up somebody that is an upgrade because if we rock with this we are even thinner at outside linebacker. I don't think any of us are comfortable with rocking with that. A Dennis Gardick, Zavin Collins with, what is it? Jesse Lakeda, Victor DiMichigi, and Xavier Thomas outside linebacking core. Not going to do it. If we want to win football games, this is not the way to be competitive. But, you know, if he was a bubble guy and he wasn't in the long-term future, whatever. I don't care. I would have rather seen him get traded for a seventh round pick than just to be cut flat outright. But that doesn't mean I'm not puzzled by the move because I don't see the long-term future here. I don't understand it. I thought we were always going to play the waiver, like I said. But, like, who are we going to bring in? I wish I could just say, you know, we're going to go get Micah Parsons and just say some insane thing. Or, like, oh, we're going to go trade for X and X, Hassan Reddick. I'm not super high on Hassan Reddick, but, like, like, we need something at this point. We're just throwing away depth. I don't really understand this. I wish I did, but only time will tell. I mean, final 53 cuts come out tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. We'll see who we pick up. We'll see how the plays go down. Until week one hits, I still have trust in Monty Austin for it, and if we don't address it, then that'll be a complete different story, and we will have a complete different discussion come that time. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this move down in the comment section below. I am a little puzzled, but I just want to know how you guys are feeling about this. Right before 53-man roster cuts, we ended up trading them. Chiefs fans, I think this is a very solid piece for you. I think it is a scheme fit. I think Cam Thomas is someone who can come in here and get some decent pressure for you guys. You guys just signed Juju Smith as well, so you guys just keep re-upping. Like, I hate the fact that you guys are so good. Your receiver core went from absolutely nothing to having Juju Smith, Xavier Worthy, Rasheed Rice. You have Marquise Hollywood Brown, who was in Arizona last year. Like, you guys just re-upped and you guys aren't spending big money. Like, shout out to you guys. I mean, I guess you guys are doing it the right way. You guys are going for the three-peat. This is a move that is going to help you get there. This is going to be solid depth for you guys. Cardinals fans, I don't know what the vision is, but you guys can let me know how you guys are feeling about it. And if you guys enjoyed today's video or are an Arizona Cardinals fan or an NFL fan, consider hitting that subscribe button. We've been posting content. We've been getting this thing out constantly. And we have a video coming tomorrow about 53-man roster when that is officially finalized. We'll see what Monty Austin for and Jonathan Gannon do. I can't wait for that to come out. But with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy, Mythic. Peace out. Hello.